Hello guys, welcome back to Good Share Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix friends versus friends is crashing at startup. It is not having uh, issues like you know it's not launching, freezing, and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen, stuck or loading screen, and many more issues which is hap happening for many of the users right now. And how we can fix this up? So let's dive into this. The first one is all about. We have to start with a simple restart. For that, just go over here in this icon. Click on this one. <coughs> Sorry. Go for a simple restart and try launch the game. That's going to work for you as well. Start with a simple restart is a basic step. Or once after that, if it's still the issue is persisting, we have to move to the next one. That is all about. We need to verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to click over here, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to local file. Click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step that is called verify integrity of game file. Because if any files are corrupted as well as if any files are missing, all these cause us the issue of, uh, you know, these kind of issues will be existing. So we have to close this up. Once after that, we need to move to the next step. That is, as you can see, all 969 files are validated. So close this and try launch the game that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. Instead of launching the game from the Steam, try launching the game from installation folder. For that, just right click. We have a shortcut. Right click and go to properties. Go to local file. Now from here, go to browse. That will redirect you to this. And now from here, we just need to open this. I mean, open the game from here. Launch the game from here instead of launch the game from here try this out as well that's going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator and hence it is in alpha uh, over here we just need to right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here go to run this program as an administrator so once you set this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game that's going to work for you as well because for many users when they run the game on game as an administrator this need work for them so you can try this out next one is all about we need to run the game on the compatibility which is actually a additional step which you can try out for that i'll be showing you from here just right click and go to show more option properties compatibility now from here click first one select this one run this program in compatibility mode if you're on windows 7 select this one and go for apply and go for ok and if you're on windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game that's what we need to do and once you're done with this one try launch the game and if it's still the issue is persisting we have to move to the next step next word is all about make sure the windows language is english or if you're using any native language change the language to english for that just go over here in the search go for settings go for time and language go for language and region and if you find the language select add language and search for language and set the language to english once after that make sure the country is correct if you are from india you have to select india now go back now over here go to date and time and over here you have to turn this on so turn on the date and time that is if it is turn it off just turn this on make sure the time zone automatically is correct once after that just close everything and go back and see whether the issue is solid even still if it's still persisting then we just move to the next one that is launch the game using alt and tab so just click on the play button press alt and tab from the keyboard that's going to work for us so just click on the play button and try launch the game with alt and tab that's going to work for us for sure so that is what we have to do so that is an important step as well moving to the next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to this pc and from here just go to documents and if you find the folder on friends of friends just delete the folder and you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete the folder and once after that try launch the game that's going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to move to the next step which is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel go to windows defender firewall go to allow an app or, fe app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we need to search for friends or friends just keep scrolling down and navigate to f and as you can see the friends versus friends is already added and make sure the public and private is correct if it is not added i'll be showing you how to add this by default for that just click on allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local dc keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps 
now from here go to common now from here just keep scrolling down and navigate to friends versus friends uh, just keep scrolling down at the top over here you can see friends versus friends just open this one and add it so here it's already added so we'll be getting the error just add the game once after that just close everything and go back and see whether the issue is solved if that's not working we can move to the next step that is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices some of you guys might be playing the game with the controllers or you might be already connected with any other controllers like logitech wheels hotas etc if that is the case just remove everything from the usb port remove everything from the usb port now launch the game after everything is removed just click on the play button and launch the game and if you wanted to play the game with the controller just connect back the controller afterwards and try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services now go for disable all go for apply and go for ok this might ask you for restart so restart is a mandatory for you but uh, I'm here in the middle of video, so I'm going to go for exit without restart. For those who are watching this, go for restart. And once your restart is done, try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay. For that, go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Go to over here, make sure this, this should be blank. That means this should be deselected and once after that, try launch the game. So if that is the case, not the case, just go over here in the launch option. We have to try with the next step that giving the commands in the launch option. The first one is DX11. Now try launch the game. If DX11 is not working, try changing the command to DX12 and try with this as well. So try with DX11 as well as DX12. Try with both the commands and try launch the game. And that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to go for the next step. That is all about, we need to disable the Steam. Overlay is all done. Next is all about we need to close the overlay overclocking application. For that, we just need to go over here, right click, and I'll be showing you that. Just right click over here and go to the task manager. Right now, as you can see, there are many apps running in the background. So all these are one of the main reasons why we are having crashing issues. So if you find anything over here like Discord, which is an example of overlay applications, and if you find anything over here like you know, uh, uh, Riva Tuner, MSC Afterburner, which comes under the category of overclocking application. Remove everything from here and once after that, go back and try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search and go for graphics settings. And from here, as you can see, I've already added all the games. Same way we need to add it, just click on the browse, go to this PC and keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to Steam folder over here, go to Steam apps, now go to common. Now from here, get to friends versus friends, select this one and add it. So as you can see, it is already added, but there is few things we need to make. Just click on the option and change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this one, because we need to save this to high performance, because when this is running, it is being utilized in the background. So graphics card is being utilized. So there'll not be any kind of crashing issue. Once after that, just close everything and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, we just need to go over here in the search and go for view advanced system setting. Go for advanced, go for settings. Once again, go to advanced, once again, change. Make sure this is deselect, this should, this should be blank and select the local list where the game is installed. In my case, it is C. Go for custom size and give the value for initial size and maximum size. Initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is three times the total RAM. Now from here, we need a calculator. So just go over here in the calculator. So multiply 32 because 32 is my RAM. So you have to multiply your RAM with 1024 and multiply it with 32,068. So multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. Just paste it and move to the next step. That is multiply it into 1024. That brings you this one. Multiply it with three. So just multiply it with three. And once you're done with this one, go for OK and try launch the game. And that's what we have to do. So this one did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. And move to the next one that is all about we need to update the windows. For that, just go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here, windows update, update the window to latest versions and that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to do this. We just need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. So NVIDIA users, they just land on this page, click from the description. So select every details. 
product, product series, product type, operating system, language, etc. So I am from Windows 11, so I have to select Windows 11. Once after that, go for start search and you'll be getting the latest version driver, version 5.35.98, which is released yesterday. Just download this one, install and restart the PC. And if you're on the AMD, do the same. You'll be getting all the options over here. You'll be getting the options like the select every details over here and move to the next one. Now from here, if you're on Windows 11, select this one. And if you're on Windows 10, select this one, download and install. And once after that, try launch the game. Even after it's still not working, then we just need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So go over here, download and install Microsoft Visual C++. That's going to work for you as well. So even after trying all these things, still you are done with the issue. If it's still persisting, then you just need to uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. For that, just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game for uninstalling the game. Now go back and try reinstalling it back. And now install it back once again and see whether the issue is solved. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye oh, bye bye